want to cover exactly how you should not be writing your blog posts. You heard it right. How not to write a blog post. I've seen a million and one ways on how to write a blog post, but not how not to. So with that being said, what I really want to touch on is I tried two different things. One was an AI blog post content rewriter. This was a tool that I utilized and B I used my manual old school SEO manual article rewriting techniques of going sentence by sentence. Actually, it was more like block 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 by block. So what I really want to digest or dissect is going to be this. I want to go ahead and look at the content that I did in a previous video. I literally went page by page or section by section, paragraph by paragraph inside of a blog post for a search term for Google My Business Management Service. I went to the top performing ranker for Google My Business, Google My Business, uh, M-A-N-A-G-E Management Service, right? I went to the top performing website at the time, uh, which I believe actually they fell down was this particular website here. Okay. And again, this was just for demonstration, just for testing. I don't know who this is. I was just testing out a tool to see what would happen. So with all of this being said, I went and I got this top performing website here. Now let's take, let's take a look at the page in question. So, uh, if you take a look at my website, it's Chris Palmer marketing, um, forward slash Google, my business management service. So here is the page that we created. Nothing fancy, just a regular page. Didn't even really finish it. But what we did is we took this particular page. All right. And we went and utilized an AI rewriting tool to create blog posts. I'll go ahead and share with you uh, the tool. All right. Now, by no stretch of the imagination, am I supporting this tool or promoting this tool? It's just what I used for this demonstration for this test. All right. So with that out of the way, we were targeting this specific keyword, Google My Business Management Service. We utilize this as our training set of data for the AI content blog post rewriter. We used this tool. Now, with any optimization, zero optimization, I wanted to see if I create a blog post or a service page, right? Or any page for that matter. If I took this AI generated content, rewrote it, utilizing a top performing training set, could I rank that content? So let's go ahead and just do a brief search. Um, looking for Google, my business management service with this type of search. Okay. If I do a search just like this, we can see that my website is here. Chris Palmer marketing. However, <laughs> you know, any great SEO or novice SEO will know that, Hey, Chris, you know, it's going to be a lot better if you go ahead and do that search in incognito. And that is really going to tell the tale of, did this content perform well at all? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an incognito window and we're going to head out here to google.com and we're going to take a look for Google, my business. Uh, M A N A G E management service. Okay. And we're going to just go ahead and take a look here. Control F C H R I S. So nothing there. We're just going to go right out to page 10 and see how it's performing. So C H R I S. This is an in the wild look. We're going to see if it's even in the first hundred results, nothing. Uh, and I pre did this already. Um, and just to speed things up, I'm utilizing a new tool, testing it out. Uh, there's a little deal on it right now. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out and it's called a uh, rank tracker. So they're giving up a bunch of keywords for real cheap. So I was like, ah, I'll try it in here. So with that being said, without having to go through SERP by SERP, if we come inside of here and we have a brief look, okay, let's just come inside of here and take a look at Chris. Palmer marketing. Let's just take a little look and see if Chris Palmer's site is even pulling in Google, my business management, utilizing that AI content. And then we'll talk about the manual spin that I did on another piece of content, old school style. And we'll go ahead and cover the results from that.
All right. So as we're seeing this here, we're taking a brief look at some keywords here. And I'm, I'm seeing here that we have a few keywords, nothing too much, um, but a little bit here, but nowhere in these two pages inside of this tool, this rank tracker tool, do I see anything regarding Google My Business Management Service or services for that matter. So with that being said, all right, did it produce a piece of content or a body of work utilizing an AI tool that was readable? The answer is absolutely. However, did it produce a piece of content that was good enough to be even seen in the top 100 results? Not at all. So this is how not to write an article. All right. So AI, at least this tool, utilizing without any optimization, just copy paste. I, I, I didn't change anything. Like I pretty much left the optimized titles. I, you know, hey, if there was an optimized title, I left the optimized title. If it wasn't optimized, then I just wrote out anything. As far as the content, I literally put it in and pasted it. You can check that out in my other video. It was called AI Content Rewriting. It, it has me with a big finger. You could see that if you're interested in seeing exactly how I did it. With that out of the way, now let's take a look at a blog post or a service page, really, that I created by simply using old school article rewriting slash article spinning techniques. So let's go ahead and take a look at this particular keyword and see how we did inside the SERPs. All right. Now, utilizing pretty old school tactics, what I did was uh, press release. Um, actually, let me just take a look here. I think it was like press release distribution. I, I really can't recall, to be honest with you. Let me take a look and see what it was. Uh, press release distribution services. Okay. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. Now this method of writing this was done utilizing a technique called rewriting or spinning. This was a manual spin done by myself. I literally went paragraph by paragraph to reach a particular threshold in order to pass uh, a particular filter. All right, we'll say. So with that being said, this will be the normal search. We'll do a control F, C-H-R-I-S. So as you can see here, we are showing up here, but again, we need to look in incognito mode. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to incognito and we're going to head out here to Google and we're gonna see if the old school way performed or, or did anything for us, you know, uh, is the new better or is the old school better? I don't know. <laughs> and note, please note this, this one I did, I did optimize at least a little bit. All right. So, uh, I, I don't want to, um, pull any on that one. So let's go ahead and do Chris. So we are not on the first page. So let's go ahead and check the second page. Control F. We're going to do C-H-R-I-S. We're not on the second page. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the third page, C-H-R-I-S. And as you can see, we're on the third page for cheap press release service. And note, I did this on purpose. It's mit miss optimized. I, I'm, I was looking at some other things too, selfishly. So what I did is I was trying to put a lot of variation within the key places, meaning inside the URL, I just put press release service inside the H1. I think I put cheap, uh, press release distribution service. And then inside of, um, the title it's cheap press release service. So I was adding a little bit of variance here, but let's take a look at this title here and see how this keyword performed inside of incognito. So let's go ahead and take a look at this briefly. Um, and we'll see what this did for us. If anything, we'll do a control F just to search for it brief. So as you can see, what was inside the title tag? And I know the cheap press release, um, service actually has lower volume, but inside of incognito, I'm ranking number one, two, three, four, number five. But let's go ahead and take a look at the rank tracker that doesn't have any type of data to at all. All right. L meaning uh, it's doing non-locational based uh, search or query. Even though I'm incognito, it, it does know where I'm at, as you can see, Pennsylvania. So it's going to show me a little bit different results. So let's take a look inside the rank tracker. So if we come over here to our domain, which I pulled it inside, as you can see here, 
In the UK, I'm ranking 79, so that's quite interesting. Um, press release distribution service um, in the UK, okay. Uh, in India, I'm ranking 14, so that's kind of cool. All right, press release distribution services free, ranking number 28, uh, 76, 78. So these are all horrific uh, rankings. So let's go to the first page um, of types of results that we have. Um, let me just see here. Let me just see here. Let me just see here. Uh, best press release service, number 33. Um, how much does a press release cost? Press release prices, 28. Press release price, 37. Press release pricing, 44. And note, other than the title, H1 and URL, where I put those variations in, it's not even... Uh, optimized properly. I was just mismatching to see if I could bring in more or see how it would perform. And it did pretty much what I thought it was going to do. It's It got on the board, but it, it, it didn't, it wasn't anything to, to brag home about, right? So the long story short of it, and, and to wrap up this video of how not to write a blog post in order to get Google traffic is first and foremost, just as a, as a recap here, I would not utilize this tool or any other tool to just copy and paste content and trust that it's going to do a job much like a writer or a content writer, which is kind of common sense, but I still wanted to see where the advancements were as far as AI were concerned. With that being said, I do feel because of the level that it was written at that you could achieve some pretty good results with some fine tuning and some overlook from an actual human and some proper optimization. Also, with that being said, if I were to finally tune this page, um, as far as this press release page, if I were to maybe really take my time because no, I only wrote enough content and spun enough to beat the filter there's actually probably about uh at least 40 percent uh duplicated content on this page you know only 60 percent in that range is about uh unique plus i have misformatted or misoptimized title h1 and urls they really should match coming in with my lead h2 being a secondary keyword all right, so that's really going to wrap up today's video on how to not write a blog post for Google traffic. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any future questions related to blog posting, blog posts, how to rewrite articles or article writing or blog writing or anything blog, SEO or article spinning related, never hesitate feel free, go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next how not to write a blog post for Google traffic.